there. Welcome back to another video. This evening we will be doing an ASMR picture quiz. So what I've done is come up with eight categories of questions with nine questions in each category plus one bonus point. So there are 80 points that can be acquired um, throughout these eight rounds. And I will show you a picture on my iPad and you will simply identify the picture for me. Are you ready to get started? Okay. So again, there are eight categories with nine questions in each category plus one bonus question. And I've tried to make the first three questions in each category easy, the second three questions in each category medium, and the third three questions hard. I've tried. And the bonus point is whatever I felt like. So we'll go ahead and get started. Our first category of the evening is going to be animals. And here is our first question. Can you identify this animal for me? It is a black and orange striped individual resembling a cat. Yes, that is a tiger. Is the second animal for this evening. It has red fur and resembles a monkey. Sort of. Yes, that is an orangutan. If you can identify this animal for me, please. Very common in North America. Eats trash. Uh, it's mainly seen at night. Yes, that is a raccoon. Now on to the medium category of questions. Some of you might know this animal from a very popular computer game. It is an aquatic salamander. Yes, that is an axolotl. This next one is the largest shark species, or largest fish, I think, in the ocean, because whales are mammals. That is a whale shark. Next. Can identify this animal for me? This pretty little creature is endemic to Madagascar, and you can either give me the specific species name, or you can give me the uh, unspecific name. <laughs> yes, 
bracelets was a lemur. Specifically, I believe it is a ring-tailed lemur. This next one, we're moving on to the three hard animals. We have this little fellow. And many of you know the popular character Knuckles from Sonic the Hedgehog, but do you know what species he is? Or perhaps you do, you've just never seen it in a picture. That was in Echidna. Now this next animal is very special to me because it is my favorite animal of all the animals in the animal kingdom. It was, it's pretty recently discovered, 1903, early 1900s, somewhere around there. And even though it may look like it, it is not at all related to the zebra. It is actually the closest living relative of the giraffe, and that is the okapi. This next one is another endangered species captured for its very interesting texture. is the pangolin. And now for our bonus question. Can you identify this animal for me, please? Hopefully these are focusing. I believe they are. They should That is a Bigfoot. It's a still from the famous footage. Okay, great. So, out of the ten, make sure to keep track of your points. I can pretend to tally them right here. So, this next category is going to be car logos. And this is a category where I am not a car aficionado myself, so it might not be very easy, medium, and hard because I don't really know car uh, makes and models, so Bear with me. So this first logo is one of our easy questions. Hopefully it should be pretty easy. Can you identify this logo for me, please? Okay, great. Yes, that is a BMW logo. This next one. This is the second image of a cat we've had on screen tonight. And if you aren't sure, I urge you to just uh, guess the type of cat that you see. Yes, that would be the logo for Jaguar. The next one, for some reason, I always think that this is the Ford logo, but it is not. 
so I will give you that hint. Do we know it? Okay, this is the Chevrolet logo. Next, on to the medium difficulty. You can identify this logo for me, please. This is a trident. And I don't see these types of cars very often. So I put it as medium. But they might be popular elsewhere. This is also a very United States centered quiz. Here is our next logo. Again, I believe this might be a foreign vehicle. I'm not sure. What do we think? Yes, that is a Maybach logo. All right, and next, you can identify this for me, please. So that is a Buick logo. And now we are on to the Harder difficulty again. It might not be that hard. Don't worry too much. All right, if you can go ahead and identify this logo for me. Okay, awesome. That is the Infinity logo. Next. one has a roaring lion. Yes, this is a Holden, or the Holden logo. And our last one. Really, this probably shouldn't have been a hard question. Can you identify this logo for me, please? Yes, that is a Mitsubishi logo. And for our bonus, I just found a very, very fancy car logo. Two very solid and straight wings on a turquoise background. For anybody who is just listening, I'm trying to remember to describe the picture for you. Okay, do we know that one? That is an Aston Martin logo. Very fancy car. I don't believe I've ever seen one in person, but maybe you have. All right, next we are on to the instruments section of the quiz. Let's see, how are you doing so far? Remember this right now is out of 20 possible points. There will be plenty of opportunities for points, so even if you think you are not doing very well, I urge you to continue. So, opportunity for points is most likely going to happen right here with this first instrument. Can you tell me what this is? Yes, that is a 
piano or a grand piano if you decided to get really a specific or actually I believe or if you said upright piano, any type of piano it's fine okay, number two can you identify this instrument for me? Yes, very easy, right? That is a guitar. And our last instrument. Or not last instrument, last easy instrument. So that is a violin. On to medium difficulty. We have this guy. That was a xylophone. Next. Have this one right here. Can you identify this instrument for me? Yes, it's a it's a cowbell, which is an instrument. And this last one you've likely seen before, but maybe you don't remember the name for it. Yes, this is a xylophone. This, that was in, a, in a, an accordion, not a xylophone, excuse me. Right on to our harder questions. You've likely seen these before, but do you know what the name is? It's a very, very big instrument. These people seem to be using it on a hill with grass and flowers and trees in the background. So those are called alphorns. All right. And our next instrument, another one that you have unlikely seen, but might not have known the name. A drum for a hide stretched over the top. That was a jambe. And this last one, hopefully, uh, this one's pretty hard, honestly. Uh, hopefully, you can identify it just by this picture. I'm pretty positive that you can. Maybe some musical experts out there can let me know if I'm wrong or not. We have this guy. Four letter word, if that helps anybody. Say, woodwind. I think. This picture is also not the best. I apologize for that. That would be an oboe. 
Let me turn the page on our answers. And we can get to the bonus. I saw a very interesting YouTube video about this bonus instrument. It was created by Benjamin Franklin and involves the use of glass to make different tones and notes. This is a glass harmonica. Okay. One more category until we are halfway done. I'm very curious to know how you all are doing so far and if you think my grading scale was okay. So our next category is going to be people. And this first one should be pretty easy. Can you identify this person for me? Yes, that is King Charles III. very recognizable figure. This next one is a popular musician, although she hasn't really made any music in a long time. She focuses on her various brands that she runs, helps run. Oh, it's not sure if she outright owns them. I don't know. This is Rihanna. <laughs> this next one is also very recognizable. the only hint you need for this guy. That was Tiger Woods. This next lady is very important to the world of conservation. Very, very important. And this is actually an old picture of her. Now, she is about 90, I believe. That was Jane Goodall. Our next person, this picture of him is very small, but some people will recognize him. He is a very, very famous director. Try to get that picture up close. He directed what some might say might be the best oh, three films, three-part film in history. That is Peter Jackson director of the Lord of the Rings trilogy, and I believe they paid him a lot of money to come back and direct The Hobbit as well. This next one is a famous singer. She's all decked out in pink here. know who that was? That was Megan Trainer. 
All right, and we are on to our last three famous people. It's interesting finding hard famous people. Kind of an oxymoron paradox. One of those. Anyways, you likely recognize the image of this man. And even more so, you would most likely recognize his voice. He has uh, acted in over 600 films and animations, I believe. He's been in many, many things, but do you know his name? His name is James Hong. This next famous figure might be very well known to a lot of people, so I'm not sure if he's necessarily a hard figure, but if you're not into basketball, you probably don't know who this is, although you probably know his father. He might look familiar. He does look like his dad. That was Bronny James, LeBron James's son. And this next one, I'm not sure why I put this guy in here. I don't think a lot of people will know who this is, but somebody might. He is a politician. He is the prime minister of a important country. Really, all countries are important, aren't they? But a well-known country. That was Anthony Albanese, the Prime Minister of Australia. And this next picture, I'll be referring to the girl in the picture. This is an old picture of her. And you probably thought she was going to be uh, in this category. Yes, she was probably the first person you thought of, or one of the first people you thought of when I said a, I had a people category. She is very recognizable today, maybe a little bit less so recognizable in this old photo right here. That was Kim Kardashian, a childhood photo, and that is her dad, I believe, in the photo. All right, another category down. We have half our categories. Let's tally up your points. Our fifth category here is fruits. And again, we're going to start off with some easy ones. What is this for me? Red. Very common. Yes. That is an apple. All right. Can you identify these for me? Perfect, those are blueberries. And lastly, what is this fruit? Yep, that 
as a peach 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 okay onto the medium level can you identify this for me that would be a Next fruit. Yellow, a little lumpy. That is a jackfruit. All right. How about? This one. This is uh, pretty easy. Good. It's an eggplant. And our last three. If you could identify this for me. would be a fig. Right? This is a very interesting looking fruit with that bright pinkish red exterior and the black and white interior. Yes, that is a dragon And lastly, this is pretty hard, but maybe you know what this is, right here. Yes, either you know it or you don't. That is a lychee. And our bonus fruit. Another category. Okay. And our next category. We have three more left. Still plenty of time for you to rack up some points. Category number six is going to be the currencies of the world. So I'm pretty sure you know this one. Yes, that is the dollar. The dollar. The American dollar. Identify this currency for me, please. Very good. That is the pound. Next. Can you identify this one? Very well known. Very well. is the hero used in many countries in Europe. Next. I'm 
Very good. That is the Japanese yen. This one is also not a great picture, but can you identify that currency for me, please? Know that one? That is the Canadian dollar. A little lopsided there. Okay. All right. And can you identify this currency for me? That was the Swiss franc. Right. And this one. And this is the Mexican peso It's another less than good picture here, but This currency Right that is the Swedish Corona and this currency. Right, that is the New Zealand. And our bonus currency for this round. What are these? <laughs> right, those are ray stones. So we have two categories left and I'm not going to lie, these ones are a little hard, but I know you can get some of them. So. Our next category is famous paintings. Starting off with this one that you most likely recognize. What is this? Yes, that is the Mona Lisa. Leonardo da Vinci We have this painting Also very famous so That is the story night. We have another one that this picture is less than satisfactory, but you should be able to recognize it anyway. Okay. 
So what is this? Great, that is the last supper. We are on to our medium level difficulty. Paintings. We have this one, which is pretty, pretty famous. You might have seen it, but you might not know the name for it. This is the girl with the pearl earring. Next, I love this painting. I think it's gorgeous. Yep. That is called The Swing. Next, another one you've most likely seen at some point, but might not know the name for. These two farmers looking very stoic and maybe a little bit unhappy. Yes, this painting is called American Gothic. And on to our three hard paintings, but all very important. Now that I think about it, for some reason my mind is telling me that this is a print, but I might be confusing it with something else. This is another thing you've most likely seen, but might not know the name out. So, that one is called The Great Wave of Kanagawa. This next one. Very small picture, but this painting is actually very big. That is Las Meninas. Right. And the last one, one of the most famous paintings. And unlike Las Meninas, this one is actually very small in real life. A wealthy couple. This is called the Arnolfini Portrait. And this last one, the bonus question. My painting art history lovers are going crazy out there. It's a very good day. That was Salvatore Mundi. And that painting broke the record for uh, most expensive uh, painting sold at auction in the millions, I believe. All right, now this last category. Uh, you probably won't be a fan of. And technically, these are not pictures, but they will still require your thinking and might be a great way for you so, to rack up some last minute bonus points. Or regular points. So our last category is 
going to be math. And don't worry, they're gonna start easy, okay? So first we have a very, very simple 2 plus 4. What is 2 plus 4? That would be 6. Next, we're moving up just a little bit. We have 35 plus 67. 35 plus 67. That would be 102. 35 plus 67. 30 plus 60 is 90. 5 plus 7 is 12. 90 plus 12 is 102. This next one. 132 minus 85. 132 minus 85. That answer would be 47. Next one, we're on to the medium level difficulties here. 45 minus 4, parentheses, 2 plus 8. 45 minus 4, parentheses, 2 plus 8. What do we have? 5. The correct answer is 5. 2 plus 8 equals 10. Always do the parentheses first. 4 times 10 is 40. 45 minus 40 is 5. Right, we're in the home stretch. Next, we're going to be subtracting two fractions. You have 1 fourth minus 2 eighths. One fourth minus two eighths. What do we think? That would be zero. Two eighths is another way of writing one fourth. Next, we have some more fractions. Now, we have three-fifths times six over eight. Sorry, ten. Six over ten. Three-fifths times six over ten. Three fifths times six over ten. So the correct answer is eighteen over fifty, or 
nine. Over twenty-five. You simply multiply three times six, the top fractions, and the bottom ones, and then you can simplify the fraction. Next, we simply have the square root of sixteen. What is the square root of 16? So that would be 4 Because 4 times 4 is 16 4 squared Next, this one might get some of you guys we have four exclamation point four exclamation point what does this equal? so the answer would be twenty-four The exclamation point means you multiply that number times all the numbers before it. So this would be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24. And 24 times 1 is 24. The next one requires you to know a certain number. We have 2 pi. 2 pi. What does that equal? Two pi. The correct answer would be about six as pi is equal to 3.14 And now the final answer to our trivia our final question of our trivia game This one should be easy for everyone who goes out to eat and takes care of the check We have what is 20% of $72.10? 20% of $72.10. So the correct answer for that is fourteen dollars and forty two cents we can quickly find ten percent of seventy two dollars and ten cents by moving the decimal over one towards the dollar sign so ten percent of seventy two dollars and ten cents is seven dollars and twenty one cents and then we simply multiply that times two which gives us fourteen dollars and forty two cents doing these the last minute calculation of your trivia score. All right. Well, it looks like well, this is a pretty good number. It looks like you did great. Yep. Yeah. 
and more importantly, I hope that you enjoyed the video. But I suppose if you're watching, it didn't make you fall asleep, so sorry about that. But I hope you get to sleep very, very soon, and you have a great night wherever you are. Let me know if you enjoyed the video, and I'll do more in the future. And I'll see you next week in the next video. Good night.